Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for June 28th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so we do have two sevens here. Uh, yeah, and the seven looks up. I was just looking at the three, but we already have a three in this box. We have two threes here. So there's a three in one of these two. This is potentially something. Hmm. No, I don't think so. We do have two fours, so let's do that. So four in one of these two. Two, four. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything else to do here. Doesn't really seem like it. All right, I'm going to move on. So we've got the seven and the three. Nobody's there. Four, six, eight. All right, we have two fours and this four. Fours and one of those two. Six and eight. Okay, I'm not seeing anything with that. This nine looking up puts a nine in one of these two cells. Anything else like that? Yeah, we have this five looking in and this five looking up, putting a five in one of these two. Now that's going to point up along with this five, placing a five here. Now can we follow up with that anymore? Not really. Okay. Anything else? Four. Hmm. I don't think so. All right. Let's let's move on to this band here. We have nine eight here and eight nine here. So just do the eights first. It's an eight one of these two, and then we have the nines somewhere along here. Hmm. Ah, here we go. So this eight nine against this column here. So eight nine don't go here, but the column still needs eight and nine, so they end up here. So this is a hidden eight nine pair. And so then the rest of the column is a triple, where you need a one. Uh, five and six cleans up a little bit now let's just think about this quad then we need a two three uh four seven two three four seven uh this one's not two so this is three four seven the rest is unrestricted okay so six eight nine I do anything else with that so we have this one and five that look up into here, and these aren't one five. So one and five end up here, and we can oops five. We can clean that up a little bit. Uh, oh, I cleared the four out. That would have been bad. Um, hmm. What else can we do with this eight nine here? Yeah. So this six looking in now. This eight nine it can't be six anymore because of the hidden eight nine pair. So six ends up in one of these two cells. That looks up. These aren't six, so six is in here. Uh, anything else? Seven? Seven does the same thing. So yeah, both the six and the seven looking in. This can't be six or seven. So this is a six-seven pair. I think that seven's been there. I think I missed it last time I looked through here. Anyway, we got it now. So we have this hidden six-seven pair here, leaving behind three, eight, nine, which I'm just going to write out. That's not eight, that's not nine, and one of these is a three. So that points in here along with this three, putting three down here. Um, anything else of note? That was quite a bit. Okay, so the six seven saying these aren't seven, that means the seven's in one of these two cells. Okay. Uh anything else here? I didn't really get anything new. Okay, so I think I looked at this stack. Let's just double check though. Eight, nine, one, five, two, one. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else to see with this stack. Um, so let's do this stack here. So we do have the two fives, which we got. Let's look at this column here. What do we need? So the first thing that I'm looking at is how this, the nines are across here. So these aren't nine. So I'm looking to see if this can be nine or not. It can be nine, but if it couldn't, then we'd have a single nine. But unfortunately, it can be. So what what are what do we actually need here? We need one two, uh, one two six nine. So this can't be one or nine. So this is only two six. 
This can't be two or nine, so this is one six. That makes a one six pair here. So the remaining digits are three, four, seven, which does clean up a little bit. Oh, I missed that we have these two threes here. I don't know how I missed that. So three and one of these two. Oops. Just like that. Um, okay, what else can we do here? We got this three, four, seven here. So they can't be one six. That was the key thing. Okay. So this six looking down, now that we had got this this one six pair, this can't be six either. So the six is in one of these two cells, meaning this can't be six. In fact, the rest of the row can't be at all. Um, and so we have the, the six, seven looking now. Oh yeah, it's just this triple. Never mind. I don't think we can do more with that. Um, so yeah, six is one of these two. Want that to do more, but I don't see how it does. Um, I also have this four looking down, but unfortunately this can be four still. So the fours don't do the same thing. Okay, what did I need here? I needed one, two, six, nine. Okay, these can be any of those. Anything else to look at here? I don't think so. Let's look at this stack here. One, four, seven. So we do have the two ones. And we have this one looking in. So that places the one here. So now we have these two ones putting a one in one of these two cells. Um, what was I looking at? One, four, and seven. So we do have the two fours looking down, putting a four here. Seven. Seven's in one of these two cells. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, sevens are just here. Um, four, six, eight. So we do have the eights looking up. This eight looks in. There's an eight in one of these two cells. All right. Did I miss any opportunities for like crossings or something along those lines? I'm noticing that the three and the seven are down here. So I'm curious what these cells can be. Uh, two, five, and nine is it? Just two, five, nine. And that cleans up even more. So let's do that. Two, five, five, nine. Hmm. Actually, yeah, we have this two and this two, putting a two in one of these two cells. This two looks up, these twos point up, so two is here. Hmm. Two, three, and eight all in these four cells. So these should be somewhat limited. Um, we need the five, six, and nine. That's it. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, just five, six, nine. So I'm going to mark that. This one can't be nine. Oh, and it can't be five yet. I missed that. So this can't be five or nine. So this is a naked single six. So let's just double check. Can't be one, two, because of these pointing twos we just found. Can't be two. Uh, it can't be three because of this three. Um, Four, five. We're saying it's a six. Can't be seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, so it is a naked six. I wanted to check because it felt a little bit rushed the way I did that. All right, so that lets us place some of these other sixes here. Um, so we need two, three, five, eight, nine here. I'm just thinking about. So the five and the nine. Are the only ones that could be interesting and they're not. Okay. What about the rest of this row? We need a two, five, six, nine. This is two, five, six. This is two, six, nine. It sees this five here. This also sees a five, so this is two, six, nine. Hmm. Not great. Let's see, I got this six. So the rest of this column is two, three, four, five. This can't be five, so this is or four, so this is two, three only. This can't be two, so this is three, four, five. Hmm. Rest of this box, we need three, four, five, and seven. So the seven in this, ah, that, that's important. I missed that. I think it was when we placed the six, it limited the seven to these two cells here. And that points up, placing the seven, which places the three, which places the two. The seven resolves our six, seven pair here. Um, oh, I had sixes marked here already, so I should not have had a six marked there, but that's okay. I've cleared it now. Um, then that this uh, column finishes as well with the four, five. We get the seven and three. 
That gives us the 7 in the box, but it also gives us this 9, and it resolves this triple. We get the 8 and the 3. We get this 9. This 7 is placed in this box. There's too much to do at this point. I found this 7. The rest of the box, uh, let's see, the remaining digits are 3. That does place the 3 here. We also get the 5 and the 9 in this box. This can't be 3, which gives us the 3 and 8. We get the 9 here. Let's clean this up. We need a 5 in the row. That's here. Right. I mean, we're basically finishing here. That's a 5. Uh, this is um, 2 and 5. We know the order. Okay. Let's take a step back. What's the lowest hanging fruit here? I want to say this row. No, this is. <laughs> um, we need a 6. That gives us the 2 and 6 here. Okay, um, now this row, besides the 1, we need a 8, not resolved. Okay, this is a triple as well. We need the 2, 4, and 9. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. It doesn't, doesn't resolve yet. This is 2, 6, 9. This can't be 6, so it's 2, 9. So 6 in this column is here. Okay, this pair for the box, we need a 2 um, and a 4. It's not resolved, but it does eliminate this 4. This pair eliminates the 4, so that's a 4. This column needs a 2. This is 1 and 8. We know the order. Okay, this row, we need something. We need a 9. Okay, so we can place the 9 here. That's 2, 4, and 9. All right, definitely finishing here. Need two and four for this row, and this is the four, so that's two and four and two. Um, I need four and eight here. We know the order. One and, oops, I did that wrong. One and eight. And then up here, I need one and six, and we're done. All right, not too bad today. Um, the, we had this eight, nine hidden pair, which seemed important. That, that actually gave us quite a bit of uh, opportunities for more things to do in this stack. Um, we got this one here, and after getting the one, there was a crossing on the twos, which was very important. It, it was very subtle because it only eliminated two from this cell, but it was still very important. So those are the steps I remember. I think there are a couple more, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.